Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning. If you're brand new, I hope you enjoy the video. Now before we begin, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. It lets you stay up to date with any kind of content I come out with. Also, if you want to know when a brand new video is being posted, hit the little bell notification at the bottom of the screen. It basically lets you know when I have a brand new video out or even a brand new, like say, post or even a little short. Also, if you like the video, please leave a like at the end of the video, or even before that. It lets me know if I'm do if you like what I'm making, and also leave comments. I want to read y'all's comments. If you, there's anything you want to see me do, a game you want to see me play, or even want to see me do some silly things like modding my games, it let me know. And also, I plan on if you make a funny comment and I like it, it might become a little Easter egg in a future video. But that's all. So let's get to it. Let's get to the video. See y'all there. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to some more Hogwarts Legacy. So, last episode, we went into a dungeon and we dodged a dragon. So essentially, we had Dungeons and Dragons. But now, we're going to be talking to Natty and we'll go from there. We. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bicker that Archie and Mrs. Bicker <gasps> mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I, I were I to really wander don't the village think you questioning his residence. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew uh. I could rely on you. We of need course. to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. I mean, I kind of got in bad terms with Sebastian, though. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay. Is my healing pastel on? Yes, it is. Civilian is losing heat. No. Upstairs? Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Yeah, keep going up. <clears throat> mm. There she is. Oh, it's go. What have I done? Isco. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow uh -oh. approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence why, why against can't we go Harlow, to the Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Wait, where the, I mean, Please there should be Aurora's. Why aren't they helping out? I mean, why not go to them? 
Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. <clears throat> Alohomora. Heck yeah. Too bad I can't take that one yet. Revelio. Hello. Private room. Oh, there's a page down there. Oh well. Got a page. Can I jump? Can ah, I can't jump down. Wish I could. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Hmm. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Oh well, oh, Mr. Dibble, <clears throat> may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. You-know-who? I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. Yes, I know he's, he's awful. awful man and incredibly dangerous. I know. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Ah. Uh. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm ready. We're on I'm the running. right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Just this way. Follow the magic arrow. Oh. oh no 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 no! Yeah. There we go. Hello, dude. Sorry. Give me that money. I see you. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Power of the jumps! Hello there. You look familiar. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. 
I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar thing. That is fate. true. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one yeah. she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. Do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. Yes. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Oh man, to the rooftops I could go. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Wee. Here we go. Birds. Hello, birds. Hi, birds. Jump the fence. I don't like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Natty, I swear we got captured. I'm gonna tell you, we should listen to your mother. Natty must be around here somewhere. cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. This is very confusing. Coming to them. <laughs> Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Let's go. Let's go save Natty on this little sneaky expedition mission. Prince led to this room. There must be another way forward. But dang. Yeah. 
hidden door. Mattie must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Pavelio. Ministry's never done nothing for me. I'm taking all this money. My money now. Y'all are a bunch of bitches. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Why do I always end up on patrol duty? It's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Ranrock. Sent something afoot. Rookwood will reward us for our loyalty, doesn't he? Mess with me. Pavelio. <sighs> Your 
easier to spot than an erupt. Come on, dudes. I'm, I'm, I see you. I'm like making it pretty easy for y'all. Like really, really easy. Money from all. Cause I can. Two people up here. Avelia. We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Nah, she's determined to say nothing. The boss will deal with her when he arrives. I don't mind breaking a few bones if there's a few galleons in it for me. Finish the job. Thought you could hide from me, did ya? Yes. Yes. Flaming <laughs> oh, <laughs> around the rosy, yo. Knew you were still hanging. <laughs> to go explode right now. Um, it's the best thing for you to do. Revelio. <sighs> so much stuff on this floor. Identified item. Mine. 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 Oh! Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio. 
Velio. Something over here. There we go. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. There we go. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Just like over here. Revelio. Dark. I can barely find my way. Ah. Should have Luminous attached, but I'm like, I don't want Luminous attached right now. Okay. There we go. Now let's go to Natty. Hopefully, I don't think that happens. You know, Natty must be here somewhere. Revelia. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx oh, on the cells. Man. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I like how he's have to find their wands. It. Understood. I'll uh, find, I find it. that uh, uncle guy's one. My money now. Ha ha ha. Give me your bloody. Give me all the money. Revelio. Somewhere in this room. There's Natty. That was a wand. Where would I? Lumos. So if it was up the troll nose, that would be a nice like Easter egg kind of deal. Mr. Abe's wand could be in there. Mr. Abe's wand must be nearby if he can sense it from his cell. I'm probably missing it so bad right now. Oh my god. I was missing it the whole time. 
I'd be right in front of it. Mr. Rave's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Here's your wand, dude. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. No problem, dude. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Take your wand then. Get your wand. Give you. Can I give you your wand back? Or do you just automatically have it now? Go lightly. Be as a shadow. I don't know. I know the perfect way to come out. All these rats. Stupid rats. Where is the surprise ambush? Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Yes. Let's do it. Jail. Put them in jail. Coke. She's right there. Oh, no. Uh, hi, Officer Singer. That's I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll <sighs> Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss hey. Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, Please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. <clears throat> Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. 
Of course. And now there is something in the hog's head I need to go get. Not the hog's head. Three broom sticks. Wait. What is. You! Mine! Mine now, demi guys. Demi guys, where? Where's demi guys? Here we go. There we go. Mine. Oh, I said there's a demi guys. Where is it? Is it in the hog's head? I think so. I think I already got the one in here. Didn't I? Been a <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? I don't know. I didn't know there was one in three boomsticks, so we're gonna go grab that one. Um There it is. I like how it's Christmas season. We go okay so now let's go to the castle because we have to do something oh yeah oh I'll talk to poppy
Here. So we'll travel there. We'll go talk to Poppy. And then we'll do... Well, I guess whatever comes next for that one. Or we could just do MSQ. We'll probably do MSQ. I uh, thought it was a quest that basically gives me a great porn. I guess I just haven't unlocked it yet. Wait. Oh, good. You yes. haven't talked of the school since you saved Mr. Rabe and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the Wait. next steps. In How? The Why am I the talk of the school? Who? Who have you been telling? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall, and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. Oh, uh, which what one? Do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Snidget? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based huh. on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Awesome. Okay. So now... Okay, so this is almost full time. Mine. Mine. Let's just go to Miss Garlic's class, hopefully. And get that... thingy. The spell. Um, we still have a lot to do. There's a lot of missions to do. This is such a big game. Like, we haven't, like, scared with this area yet. There's so many, like, small dungeons to do. And, oh. Something else. Where's Professor? Professor! That's a hybrid. Both. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater mm -hmm. appreciation for the flora in our lives. I did. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Nice. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Okay. Let's see you give it a go. Awesome. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. <laughs> move a full few. Oh. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome. 
greenhouse. Look at that. You're a natural. Nice. Dang, if those all combine, that's gonna be kind of scary. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the greenhouse won't keep itself in order. Oh, is there anything else I need to do, real quick? New quest, grief and vengeance. So let's go ahead and do these and we'll talk to these when we get back. No, you're gonna be in the secret rooms, aren't you? Map chamber. The map chamber we shall go. Mm. All right. Let us go. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They yes. are. No. Nope. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Mm. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. Yep. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Dang! How are we gonna do this? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Why is it so bright? Why is it so bright right there? It's like just brightness overload. Hmm. Alright, I had to leave real quick. I had someone need to come talk to me. <laughs> okay, so the astronomy tower. So we'll do. in this building. We'll just do this one. Yeah. Um. Ah, oh, stupid back. Why you gotta hurt so bad? I hate having a bad back. Oh. 
But we'll do this, this, and this. We're a good point away under the astronomy tower. Astronomy. Whee! Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And we gotta try and find a way to sneak into the professor's office, which is gonna be interesting. Oh, there's Peeves. Peeves, wait up! I wonder how we can get the great porn. Oh, okay, just in that one. Boom. Boom, bye, Professor! I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Oh. Oh, well, I know what to do next. I hope I... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. <laughs> she could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So, how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? <laughs> One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Uh. Oh, I'm Professor Black. <laughs> I am Headmaster Black now. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. Oh my I see. god. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. This is so weird. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Oh my god. I'm Professor Black. That's weird. So weird. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh. 
I can't use any of the f Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Okay, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Oh. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for <laughs> boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> No, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. <sighs> Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. <laughs> Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Headmaster, here, yeah. what could he want? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible oh sometimes, sir. I'm, like, a just laughing. to write to the Department of Magical Games I'm and Sports about the this, Ministry about you. Like... Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, my Damn, Kagawa. this is some good acting. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Nothing. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? My character's just having too much fun with this right now. Like, she is just going off <laughs> and making you be so embarrassed. <laughs> Master, and he's coming this way. Elf, 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 elf. Am I gonna run to another teacher? Oh, bad. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move no. <laughs> Professor, a word, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah. Professor Weasley, how how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. Oh, uh, my, there's his armor. A bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. Oh He's rarely God. here as it is. I don't know what to do, uh, and I don't miss him. I realize that. 
and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be oh, spending from away the trailer. from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Uh, <laughs> thank you. But I'm happy <laughs> to... I the armor. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. How are people not... No, I like... This this a dude. Wonderful job. Lee Wave. Good. You armors are just to give minutes. Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh shit! Scroop's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scroop. Oh, oh, greetings, master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Ah, oh. <laughs> I do not remember it, but oh god, was it family? Black family motto. <laughs> was it family? I'm trying to remember for the movies or in the books. Oh. Purity, purity, purity. Yeah. Blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, oh my god, I this order is you cute. to pronounce it for me. Oh, but uh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Too just pure. Toujours pure. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Okay, let's get uh, out of here. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. <laughs> this is fun. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. That was fun. Revelio. That was fun. That was really, really fun. Oh, look. Bombarda. Incendio! Wait. Okay, let's go to the headmaster's office now. I have never been to the headmaster's office, I don't think. We met that armor, though. Let's go! So I probably just gave the headmaster a harder time. I'm loving it. So, I mean, the polyjuice is so ridiculous in the first place. I mean, like, imagine just being away and coming back and like wondering why everyone's like, "Wait, what? Wait, why you asked me that?" 
I didn't do nothing. Why are you treating me today? What? And be like, it's like this whole bunch of confusion, and I love it. And we're running up the stairs, and the base keeps running, running, and 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 running, running. I could just poly. Can I just flew up here? Hello, Mr. Suit of Armor. You're humming out to a song. I want to see when we go and knock each other off again. You can't imagine how inconvenient. has brought me and my siblings. We're like all the way up here. Whee! The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Tejour Pierre. This is gonna be interesting. Tejour Pure. Let's go. We never know what's going to happen. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Yes, they do. Here. Too bad there's no fox in here. But there's a sorting hat. Oh. Sleeping portraits. Okay. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Okay, let's do this trial. Hopefully the professor doesn't come right when I disappear. Ooh! I got stuck into a book. What is this? Winning the Boo? In Kingdom Hearts? Where am I? Professor oh, Fitzgerald. this is cool. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh, this is cool. This is you really, move really cool. Swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Uh oh. Damn, sussy sneaky. Oh shit. Uh, 
He's looking right at me. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Oh dear. They're gone. For now. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? There's a big group up ahead. I need to time this just right. looking. I need to do it. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Okay. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Okay, so more people, more nasties, or want to be skeletons. Go, 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 go. Death. Don't see me. Don't see me. hard it's like my my adrenaline's going to like my heart right now is being really fast I've never been good sneaky missions like this that is one lanky person a ladder perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there Careful, careful, careful. Holy hell. Look how many there are. What the fuck? I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Okay. They see are staying over there. They have their backs over here. I need to make it behind that cart. Okay. I think this one moves. So. Are you going to move again? I don't want to move until you move. Uh, 
I'm like, are, are you gonna move? Or are you done moving? I don't know. Don't. All right. Watch. When I move, he's gonna move. It's all be game over. Come on. Come on! Move! to go, but I need to find a way past them. Move, dude. Death, why are you just staring at me? Why are you just this way, but more danger? There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Okay, up there. Is there a door? Oh, shit. Like the only safe way forward. <gasps> Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Ah, oh, damn it. You can come out. Fudge. This is nerve wracking. Now's my chance. Huh? Really? I said, now is your chance. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. I had to learn to be sneaky. That's the way forward. Okay. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. So want to be careful. Just because we're invisible doesn't mean they can't see us. Or does it? Don't, don't, don't. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now. Where are you, Neve? Mm, that was nerve wracking. But the art style is really amazing, though. You have outrun death thus far. 
but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh my god. The wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Oh my god, these are the Deathly Hollows, aren't they? Uh, are, are we in like her rendition of the Beetle and the Bard? You know, three wizards? I've never felt such power. Which means we can only do what she wants us to do. Okay. The pulse. Bombarda. Damn. We're unable to hide. Chicken. Okay, let's fight all these skeletons. things to do, but it's still pretty cool. Noise. I'm loving the artwork in this in this trial though. It's really cool. I love all the scratch marks. It makes it look it's so illustrated. I love it. Look at more potions. Pavelio. Oh yeah, we're still gonna have a boss fight on our hands, aren't we?
more potions.
let's try it again. Oh, <laughs> it's so weird just having that small skill set. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. Good. Okay. Revenia. See if there's any more. Can't use anymore. Get nine potions. <laughs> Cannot get hit. Cannot get hit. Uh, all right. Let's do this again. Oh yeah, yeah, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> All right. Yet to use any of my potions. So we'll go to start. Okay, I need to go ahead and get rid of those trolls. Those trolls are the main one, main problem.
one down. your creepy skeleton army. Oh, there's a hippocampus and a centaur. Or is it supposed to be a kelpie? I think it's supposed to be a kelpie. Next one should be the, um, soul stone. Going by, like, because we had the cloak, we had the wall. stone. This must yeah. be for me. Does it look like a stone? It looks like a triangle. Deathly Hollows. Through the mourners ahead, nothing is what it seems. Like, why are you? <laughs> She's gone. Oh, poor Neve, gone so young. <laughs> Me? Why? We won't be the same without her. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. So but the there is no home. light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. True. With too much light, there's too much order. You have too much darkness, Remember too that much chaos. As you witness my memory. This is this is pretty fun. Yes. This view of your memory, them. Oh, that's cool. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. 
I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. But as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. She's going crazy with power. It in. Oh, can you feel it? She's going crazy with power. Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. She's going crazy. Ooh, in her room. Vivelio. Any chest in this room? No, no chest. That's cool. At least we're not back in the professor's office. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes. It is. And I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait. Yes, so frustrating. It is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. Yes. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. 
I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. It makes me wonder what's going to think when he comes back, though. But this has been a good, you know. This has been a good episode. Got a lot done. Uh, like a really, really lot done. Um, we did two missions. And just doing a lot. So I think the next ones we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to all these right here, next one. And then we'll do this one. We'll do these next episode and then this one. Because these might really lead to something else, and I like doing these like little side missions right here with your friends and stuff, because it just it helps kind of like fill in that time when you're not trying to get the keepers to, you know, tell you right off that where everything is. But yeah, that will be it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Also, if you just found my channel and not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe by subscribing to my channel. You get to have all my videos in one place. I got a pumpkin head. Ah, this is funny. And also, if you want to stay up to date when I come out with a brand new video, hit the little bell notification. It lets you know when I post a brand new video on that day, at that time. But, oh, what's this? Yes. Oh, but without further ado, I will see y'all in the next episode. Remember, stay kind, be happy, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.